The hills of the upstate of South Carolina are home for several Native American communities. The Diocese of Charleston is blessed and enriched by the gifts of diversity and spirituality that the Native American community has to offer. The celebration of both culture and liturgy is uh, the celebration of Christ and uh, the Christ's love and compassion for us, especially when it's expressed through uh, culture, for what we understand what culture is, and from our ancestors. And uh, the celebration, again, is moved on to the, uh, the next generation. During the annual Native American Heritage Celebration, people gather to reflect upon themes that provide a better understanding of Native American spirituality entwined with faith. This year, the celebration focused on the theme, loving one another in union with Christ. The important part of loving each other, uh, we do that through the values, beliefs, or the expectations that we have as family, as, uh, as, a, as a cultural family, also by our, our nation. Uh, so once we understand where we come from, I think then we're very able to experience that love for each other. What we try to do is get more Native Americans recognized that are in our Catholic churches and do the Catholic ministries. And, you know, because sometimes, you know, they don't say they're Native American, so you don't know. So we hope that these events we have will bring them out and then to make them closer to the church if they're not already. In a prayerful day of love and peace, the event began with Mass, celebrated by Bishop Robert E. Guglielmoni in Our Lady of the Rosary Church in Greenville. The church houses the stained glass window of St. Kateri Tekawitha, thanks to a generous grant from the Black and Indian Mission. This is the only place where there is a dedication in our diocese to St. Kateri. Having a window in this chapel uh, and in this particular church is, is really a, a blessing. I would hope that we'll see that uh, perhaps uh, as we build some other new churches that uh, Kateri would be remembered uh, either in statuary or in windows because she certainly is an inspiration for, uh, for so many. After Mass, the guests were invited to a luncheon with Bishop Guglielmoni. <laughs> Father Michael Carson Assistant Director of the Native American Affairs for the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, also participated in the event as a guest speaker. Father Carson talked about the canonization process for Nicholas Black Elk, the chief and catechist of the Aglala Lakota Nation Tribe in South Dakota. He had this uh, great connection uh, for uh, the life and death of Christ was earlier baptized and went on to be one of the great evangelizers with uh, Lakota Sioux uh, for the Catholic Church. Because just the first stages, we do need two miracles for his canonization. So I tell people if, uh, if, uh, if somebody who really needs a miracle, especially a health miracle or something else, to pray for the intercession of black elk and make sure everything's well documented. And once the miracle happens, then uh, give it over to uh, Mr. White and, and also the Diocese of Rapid City. Bishop Guglielmone received a pentaptic painting of black elk from the artist Melanie Creeping Fox Riddle in appreciation for the bishop's love and support of their rich diversity. I have it pictured as he is sitting in the circle next to the fire with black elk and Lucy looks twice uh, for having, um, as he's telling the story, he's teaching about not only the traditional religion, the sacred pipe, He's also teaching the new with Jesus and Christ and trying to explain the rosary. As the day continued, the celebration took on a festive air with musical entertainment by Kathy Nelson and the Keepers of the Word drum team. Without them helping us increasing the Catholic of Native Americans, we, uh, I don't think we could really do a lot. So we really definitely want to thank Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic Church, which I am a parishioner, and thank especially Bishop Guglielmoni. The Native American Catholics Heritage Celebration is part of the efforts of the Office of Ethnic Ministry to bring all members of our community together and celebrate diversity as a strength of our church. <laughs>